It, it feels good. It feels uh, it's, it's such an honor to be here. Um, I had such a great time last time. It's crazy because I missed the drive up. Cause I, I was sleeping in the car and I missed the same drive up today. I didn't get a chance to see the sunset, but uh, I'm just happy to be here, you know, um, amongst great company. And uh, it, it's, it's a great honor, so I'm just enjoying tonight. And how does it feel to be named a virtuoso this early in your career? Ah, uh, shocking, humble. You know, I'm just really glad to have my family here to experience it with me. My mom's here. She hasn't really been to too many award shows. She just moved out here. And all this is new, just having people out here supporting and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it, it's such an honor. It's, it's really an honor. Now, Fruitville Station has a very, very serious message. Okay. Uh, what do you hope that audiences take away from that film? I mean, honestly, just to think. You know, I think if we can work on being better people in the way we treat people that we deem different because we may or may not, you know, spend a lot of time with them or we um, may not know them personally, that we just won't be so quick to judge one another. And a life is a life. I think we don't value life as much as we do anymore. And uh, hopefully after seeing our film, uh, you know, people will start to think a little bit more before they act. And I think that's, that's where it has to start with the individual as one person. And then things will slowly and continuously get better as time moves on. Yeah, I, th I think the most rewarding part for me is being able to, uh, you know, understand different people. You know, I think film is one of the most powerful forms of storytelling and, uh, and to understand people from different perspectives, you know. And um, so for me to be able to be a part of that process, to tell my perspective and, and jump into other people's shoes and, and be able to help tell their story, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a joy. And, it's, and it's, uh, it's almost, it's not like work sometimes, you know, to be able to get up every day and do something that you love to do and something that may affect somebody that you don't know. I think that's pretty, that's pretty cool, pretty awesome. I'd be curious to know a question I'm sure you've been asked a lot is, what was your familiarity with the story of Oscar Grant, and what was your reaction to it when you first heard what had happened to him? Um, I remember, uh, you, know, uh, you know, exactly when it happened. I was at home on my computer, and somebody posted the video on my, uh, my, my Facebook wall. And I remember watching the video um, probably more times than I should, trying to figure out what happened before, you know, like what, what did this guy do deserve to get you know, treated like that and, and, and uh, you know, get shot. And, uh, and I took it very personal, you know, he's a, uh, you know, Oscar Grant could have just as easily been me or any one of my friends. I'm from North New Jersey, the inner city, and um, he's from Oakland, you know, uh, we had the same relationship to a big city that, you know, I have Manhattan, he had San Francisco that represents, uh, you know, bigger dreams, you know, getting out of that, that environment, you know, just something bigger than, than, than your circumstance. And I just kind of took it as a, you know, I just kind of took it on, yeah, as my own, I don't know, a sense of responsibility to kind of like play that role and just tell his story and, 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 and give him a voice and give him a little bit of his humanity back. In my Michael B. Jordan. There we go. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Awesome. I feel like I graduated. Thank you, guys.